back to my channel and this is today's look so I actually wanted to do a makeup tutorial because the last video was actually a review video but as I am coming back after a very long time so I wanted to do something different so I thought maybe let's just do a festive makeup tutorial which is like kind of inspired by Coachella uh, Coachella will be in April I guess not that I'm actually ever gonna go in any kind of concert or something like that but you know makeup doesn't need any rule and you can always enjoy makeup whatever you want however you want so this is me enjoying a festive uh, look so I wanted to do this for you guys and I did this one and if you guys want to see how I did this let's move on with the tutorial my skin is already moisturized and prepped for makeup and the primer that I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. Finally, we struck my favorite color character and that is none other than the Illegal Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn. And the redness that you guys can actually see in my face, it is actually from extraction. I extracted all the gunk out of my face, so that's why they are kind of like red. But don't worry, I will hide them out. I just applied a little bit of the uh, concealer in my eyelid because I don't want too much of it just lightly to cancel out the darkness because I am later going to be using an eyeshadow base. The difference is drastic, like completely. You can see that it looks like someone punched me in this eye after I color corrected. The foundation today that I'm going to be using is a new one and this is the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation from Hourglass. This is actually their liquid formulation of their um, the stick foundation. I have actually wanted to buy that one but I always opposed from like getting that one because that was a stick foundation. So when they came out with the liquid formula, I had to try it and I haven't actually tried it with like a full face of makeup. I just tried the shade in the store and bought it. So this is actually going to be the first time that I'm trying it and they also do recommend not using a primer with it but I'm always going to be using a primer. It's just like how I do my makeup. And they say that you actually can use like half a pump for full of your face. So we will see how it actually works. But I think my beauty blender is going to be soaking up a little bit much more of a product so I might need more than half a pump. But we will see also do recommend dotting it in the face which I usually don't do but let's try it whoa it is full coverage it's very very full coverage foundation is looking quite good and let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to review the hourglass vanish liquid foundation and uh, then now for the under eyes I'm going to be using the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer which is I think called the cure they have been like marketing is the cure so um, this is in the shade 180 I actually bought the shade 180 because I'm in the shade 310 in the foundation but the concealer of that exact number 310 is not like the correct undertone I feel like every concealer that I swatched in the store it kind of like looked a little bit of muddy like a little bit pink like it wasn't going with the foundation so I wanted something like bright and um, a little bit more on the yellow side so what I felt was that 180 is like close to what I want and this is very brightening I would say because you know the there is like quite shade jump you know it's 180 and the foundation that i use in fenty beauty is 310 so it is quite wide so it's going to be a little bit too brightening i guess but don't worry it might look a little bit crazy in the camera 
but everything will turn out good in the end, hopefully. So I have previously used this concealer, but the only problem that I have with this concealer is that it is only 8 mils of product. Brands, you guys need to push your boundaries for concealers, the amount of concealer that you guys give. And I don't think that it's okay to just put out like less amount of concealer because you know, we are actually paying kind of half the price of a foundation. So at least we should get 10 mils or 15 mils of concealer. That's the only thing that I have complained for this one because I have used this one previously and it works quite nicely. So let's just set the face so that nothing moves around and the powder that I'm going to be using is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Blondie. I'll be doing my eyebrows off camera then let's just move to do the eye makeup. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the P. Louise Makeup Base and this is in the shade 2. I'm taking the Huda Beauty Electric Obsession eyeshadow palette and from this one I'm going to be picking up this yellow shade as my transition color. So with another blending brush, I'm picking up this fuchsia shade. Now from the Zuvia's Place Zulu palette, I'm going to be picking up this purple shade from here and this is directly going in my crease. And remember one thing, even if you don't have the exact same products that I'm using, you can use anything to do your own makeup, like just use a similar type of products. And uh, I am using this blue base. If you do have a blue base, then it's amazing Then uh, you can use it. Otherwise, if you don't have it the way I previously used to do it, just cut it with a concealer and you will be good to go. Don't worry, it might be looking a little bit of mess right now, but it will all work out. Again from the Electric Obsession palette, I'm taking this blue turquoise shade and this is going in the inner side of my lid. Now from the Sapphire Obsession palette from Huda Beauty, I'm taking this green sort of uh, turquoise shade. For the outer portion, I'm taking this bluish purple shade from the Electric Obsession Eyeshadow Palette. Again with the purple matte shade from the Juvia's Place Zulu Palette. I'm just stamping it in the outer V. For liner today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tarte's Double Tick Eyeliner. Now to take this eye look in the next level, I'm taking this Barry M Holographic Liquid Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Asteroid. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be applying all the same shades just in reverse motion. I'm going to be applying the purple, then the pink and then the yellow.
For eyelash, I'm going to be using this Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. For highlighting the brow bone, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Winter Solstice Highlighter Palette. And from this one, I'm taking the Arctic Glow Shade to highlight my inner corner. And taking the Northern Lights to highlight my brow. Finally, for the waterline, I'm taking the same P. Louise base. Done with the eyes and now I'm going to be bronzing and kind of like I will be contouring my face with the W7 bronzer. For blush today, I'm going to be using this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Dazzle. For highlighter, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Bronze Suns Edition Highlighter Palette and from this one, I'm just going to be layering the cream and then on top of it, I'm going to be applying the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter. To line my lips, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in the shade Stripped Brown. For the lipstick, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Trendsetter. Okay, so this is the makeup look, I will just accessorize it for the festive look a little bit, then I'll be right back. So this is the final look after finishing the rest of my makeup and also accessorizing it. And you guys can actually skip the accessories anytime you want. And you can just wear the eye look with any of your blue dress or whatever dress you want to. And all the product lists I will be giving in the description box below. So make sure you guys also check that out. And if you guys do like this video, then make sure to give this one a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you guys also follow me in my Instagram account because I'm mostly active in there. So make sure you guys follow me. And I will be catching you guys again in my next video. Till then, you guys take care. Bye-bye.